Rice paddies flourishing in the scorching heat of the desert sun. It sounds like a mirage or an oasis-induced hallucination. But in China's Kabuki Desert, once an arid wasteland, verdant rice fields now span 80 to 100 acres, thanks to an agricultural feat once deemed impossible. This improbable green rice revolution has left scientists worldwide in awe and transformed the livelihoods of local farmers. How did China turn a desolate desert into a thriving rice producer against all lots. The ingenious solutions and perseverance of researchers have shattered notions about the limitations of agriculture, like stumbling upon an endless green sea in the sands. The agricultural triumph reveals that, with human ingenuity, not even the harshest environments are unconquerable. Back in 2008, when China unveiled its plans to cultivate 8,200 acres of rice in the desert, many scoffed at the idea. I mean, after all, rice has historically thrived in water-rich environments. It typically requires requires a temperature range of 30 to 32 degrees Celsius in nutrient-rich soil. The desert, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. Dry, water scarce with temperatures soaring up to a scorching 76 degrees Celsius. The harsh desert conditions, characterized by relentless winds and blowing sand, posed formidable obstacles. Moreover, rice seedlings have specific requirements regarding soil acidity and salinity during germination. All these factors made the idea of growing rice in the desert seem like a near impossible feat. Nevertheless, countries like Dubai, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia, also grappling with the challenges of desert environments, closely watched this audacious endeavor with keen interest. Now, the burning question is, how did these determined scientists manage to achieve the seemingly impossible, growing rice in the desert? China is a country abundant with deserts, including the vast Gobi Desert, covering a staggering 1.28 million square kilometers. This vast expanse accounts for a remarkable 13% of China's total land area. Among these deserts, the Taklamakan Desert stands out, sprawling across 330,000 square kilometers, which is comparable in size to the country of Italy. Over the past seven decades, China has made significant strides in preventing and controlling desertification. This journey began with early efforts like grid desertification control and evolved into advanced methods such as photovoltaic desertification control. Through years of unwavering dedication and hard work, millions of people have successfully reclaimed and revitalized approximately 20.33 million hectares of land. This represents a historic transformation, from deserts encroaching on habitable areas to greenery expanding and desert sands receding. These remarkable changes have laid the groundwork for China's subsequent agricultural development in desert regions. In the year 2000, Yuan Longping, a renowned Chinese agriculture cultural expert, embarked on a decade-long mission to develop a unique variety of rice tailor-made for desert conditions, sea rice. Distinguished from traditional rice, sea rice exhibits exceptional tolerance to salt and alkali, boasting superior survival skills and competitiveness compared to ordinary rice varieties. It can resist challenges such as waterlogging, high salinity, lodging, diseases, and pest infestations while maintaining exceptionally high yield. Yuan Longping's research results are beyond dispute, earning him international acclaim as a distinguished agricultural scientist and visionary leader behind China's thriving rice industry. Since the 80s, this committed scientist has extended a helping hand to over 40 countries, making significant contributions to agricultural development. Their efforts have led to a remarkable 30% increase in rice production in Africa, easing the burden of food scarcity for countless local communities. What's truly astounding? Astonishing is China's massive population, numbering 1.4 billion people, consuming an astonishing 700,000 tons of grain every single day. This nation's annual demand for grain hovers around a staggering 6 to 700 million tons, a number that underscores Yuan Longping's lifelong mission, achieving food self-sufficiency for this vast population. Yet, China's expansive landscapes harbor numerous deserts, each presenting its unique set of challenges, determining which desert is most suitable for rice cultivation was no easy feat. The obstacles faced in growing rice in these arid landscapes were nothing short of extraordinary. To address the pressing issue of water resources, Yuan Longping led a formidable team of hundreds who meticulously analyzed and surveyed desert terrains. Ultimately, they chose the Ulaanba Desert in Inner Mongolia as their testing ground. The Ulaanba Desert ranks among China's eight largest deserts, characterized by a summer 
arid climate with scant rainfall, substantial temperature fluctuations between day and night, and powerful monsoons. Fortunately, it boasts abundant sunlight and warmth, providing a promising foundation for agricultural development. Their journey began humbly, with an initial planting of 80 acres aimed at accumulating essential experience. Over a dozen intricate processes, including land leveling, ditch excavation, backfilling, soil enrichment, and pH adjustments, were meticulously executed to transform the desert into fertile soil suitable for rice cultivation. In the following year, they expanded their rice fields to 300 acres. As rice varieties improved, so did the yields, with an average harvest exceeding 500 kilograms per mu, approximately 667 square meters annually. In the third phase, they ventured to cultivate 1,500 acres in the desert. After just five months, every acre yielded an impressive 850 kilograms of rice, amassing a total of nearly 260,000 kilograms of rice. This achievement was nothing short of remarkable, setting a groundbreaking precedent for desert rice farming. In 2016, China made a substantial investment of 6.3 million US dollars, further expanding the project's scope to a staggering 8,200 acres. The rice produced this time was of superior quality, as confirmed by tests conducted by the Beijing Nutrient Source Research Institute. Rice grown in the Yulanba Desert proved to be rich in essential trace elements like potassium, calcium, iron, zinc, and selenium, showcasing the immense potential for large-scale desert agriculture. Many have wondered how rice, a crop known for its water-intensive nature, can thrive in arid desert conditions where water resources are scarce. The answer lies in a combination of innovative techniques and resource management. Located to the east of the Ulaanba Desert in the Yellow River, often referred to as China's Mother River, its steady flow of water has been harnessed to transform the desert into fertile farmland. Multiple water conservancy projects and channels were constructed to channel water from the Yellow River into the desert, creating favorable farming conditions. Furthermore, scientists pioneered an ecological water-retaining sand planting technology. This approach demonstrated exceptional water-saving and fertilizer-preserving qualities, promoting robust rice growth with sturdy plants. The technology's excellent air permeability prevented the development of anaerobic conditions in rice fields, minimizing pests and diseases and reducing the need for pesticides, thus ensuring pollution-free cultivation. Today, many countries worldwide still grapple with desert-related challenges, and Dubai is no exception. Situated in the heart of a desert with minimal annual rainfall, averaging less than 100 millimeters, Dubai relies on imports for 80% of its food requirements. In 2016, Dubai became aware of China's pioneering achievements in desert agriculture and extended an invitation for assistance. In response, Yuan Longping led a team of nearly 100 experts to Dubai in 2017, embarking on experimental planting in the city's tropical desert. During the initial phase of trials, rice yields exceeded 500 kilograms per mu, marking a significant milestone in successfully cultivating rice in a tropical desert for the first time. To further adapt rice varieties in Dubai's desert conditions, scientists selected over 80 different rice types for small-scale planting and cultivation. After just five months of growth, these varieties yielded an impressive 900 kilos per mu, astounding Dubai's scientific community and providing promising results for future agricultural endeavors. However, growing rice in Dubai presented unique challenges compared to China. Dubai's desert, located near the equator, experiences extreme temperatures, with daytime highs reaching up to 50 degrees Celsius and nighttime lows of only 20 degrees Celsius. The arid climate with low humidity is unfavorable for rice's natural self-pollination process. The soil composition in Dubai's desert posed another significant hurdle. Unlike deserts in other regions, Dubai's desert had granular, water impermeable sand. Transforming this soil to support agriculture required substantial investment in freshwater resources, which were also scarce. Addressing these complex challenges, the Chinese team brought their expertise, along with specialized agricultural machinery to Dubai. They provided training, logistical support, and solutions for water and soil management, facilitating the ambitious goal of developing agriculture in Dubai's desert landscape. In 2020, Dubai witnessed an astounding transformation as the once barren desert, spanning a mere 10 square kilometers, blossomed into a lush green expanse covering a remarkable 400 square kilometers. This remarkable feat was achieved through
through the groundbreaking seawater rice technology, which not only provided sustenance to nearly 1 million locals, but also ignited the growth of local agriculture. Inspired by Dubai's success, Saudi Arabia extended a hand of collaboration to China, aiming to rejuvenate their own arid landscapes. Plans were set in motion to plant a staggering 10 billion trees in the Saudi deserts. Innovative techniques involving desalination and irrigation promised to convert vast desert stretches into the fertile agricultural lands. Meanwhile, Egypt, a country predominantly covered in desert, embarked on its own journey towards desert greening. Their ambitious vision included diverting Nile water into the desert, promising to yield exceptional results with efficiency. Yet, China's influence extended beyond just greening the desert. It ventured into developing thriving industries amidst the dunes. Leveraging photovoltaic desert control technology, five major industries flourished in these landscapes. The first industry harnessed the power of photovoltaic panels to cultivate Chinese herbal medicine underground. This invaluable resource holds great significance in traditional Chinese medicine, and its cultivation flourished beneath the desert surface. The second endeavor, photovoltaic rice farming, initially required substantial investment but showed tremendous promise in expanding across deserts. This innovation held the potential to transform arid wastelands into fertile havens, offering more oases to our planet. The third achievement witnessed the miraculous transformation of countless acres of dunes into vibrant grasslands. Local residents seized the opportunity to engage in sheep herding, significantly boosting their economic prospects. A once unthinkable feat, the fourth industry thrived by raising fish in the desert. China had pioneered a revolutionary approach to fish farming in desert environments, boasting a high efficiency, low carbon flowing water breeding pond. This system, with its automatic features, produced an astonishing 300,000 tons of fresh fish annually, effectively providing fresh fish to arid regions. The fifth industry focused on cultivation. Over the years, thanks to photovoltaic sand control, desert soils turned into fertile farmland. Local farmers enthusiastically planted numerous fruit trees and vegetables, converting the once barren desert into a thriving agricultural haven. Today, when you journey through many Chinese deserts, Deserts, gone are the days of endless yellow sand. Instead, you'll encounter vast arrays of photovoltaic panels intertwined with lush greenery. Windbreak and sand-fixing forests comprising willows, elms, and shrubs line the road, while rice fields flourish in the heart of the desert. Local farmers have reaped the benefits of its transformation, which serves as a testament to human perseverance and innovation. In a world grappling with the challenge of climate change, the quest to green our planet is a shared global aspiration. Confronting desertification remains a formidable battle against nature, but with persistent exploration and unwavering dedication, humanity is destined to overcome these harsh conditions. As wastelands metamorphose into fertile farmlands, our ecological environment will undoubtedly continue to improve. So, what are your thoughts on the remarkable endeavor of growing rice in the desert? Please share your comments below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of transformation.